Are you ready, my asylum patients? It's actually fairly easy to determine a source or reason behind certain dreams. But for those who still want to learn something new about your worries at night, and the reason behind them, then here are the top 20 most common nightmares and causes. Machine Malfunction Nightmares where you're writing a paper and a computer crashes, unable to pick up a ringing phone, or even a blackout before watching the season finale of your favorite show are referred to as machine malfunction nightmares. These are most common with commutative pieces of technology like phones, fax machines, or computers. These dreams, oddly enough, are caused by the desire to reach out to someone on an emotional level. Failing a test. Dreams of failing a test are fairly common. You do your best to pass a test, and you fail anyway. It's simply a worry of failing a test. Well, if you're someone still in school anyway. If you're an adult or someone who graduated, however, it's a sign of self-evaluation. Being chased. One of the most famous nightmares is about being chased. Whether that be by someone you know, stranger, or something that's not at all human. With the fear of whatever reason it is this person is chasing you, most of the time, of being kidnapped or harmed. These dreams are kind of ironic because you actually are running from something. These dreams come from the guilt or fear of responsibilities you're avoiding. Nudity. Everyone has the fear of being naked at the worst time. It's kind of silly, because how would you forget something you do every day? Nonetheless, the nightmares are usually the basic and naked at the wrong time or pantsless at school or a meeting moment. The nightmares come from the feeling of being vulnerable or self-conscious. Being cheated on. For those currently in a relationship, what would you do if the person you shared your feelings with broke your heart by performing sexual acts with another person? I think we've all been there at least once whether or not we were actually cheated on or were scared of the idea of being cheated on. These nightmares are caused by the lack of trust in your partner or a sign that your relationship isn't working out. Missing events. Something really important is coming up and you're five minutes late already? You slap everything on and get in your car and drive to wherever this event is taking place only to find out you were late. Nightmares where you're missing big events are caused by the feeling of being overworked. Abandonment. Being left alone by a loved one can do more than just break your heart. In the nightmare world, you at least have the knowledge that whatever happened never really happened, right? Sort of. Nightmares of a loved one leaving you are caused by the feeling of your loved one being absent emotionally. Death. Nightmares of dying are quite ironic as well. In dreams where you or someone you love dies, for whatever reason, it's a sign of a new beginning. Sometimes it's even seen as symbolic, like something in your life has ended and now a new road has opened. It might even be caused by something like moving to a new home, having to forget the old one, or graduating high school. Falling Nightmares where you are falling. Fairly common for a good reason. These dreams mean something is wrong. Whether that be school, employment, relationships, or anything else. Nothing else is going right, and it's only getting worse. It also means you need a new direction in your life. Bugs. Dreams where you're covered in bugs and insects mean that you are literally being bugged by something. However, different insects have different sources of being bothered. For example, ants represent small criticisms, dead insects represent an unwanted child, flies represent something we don't want in our home, and so much more. Going bald. Another fairly common dream is going bald. 
You look into the mirror only to find out that all of the hair in your head is gone. These dreams are more of a sign of fears you're having. Maybe the fear of aging or growing older. Or maybe you underestimate yourself or don't trust yourself. Being trapped. If your dream is about being trapped or unable to move, then it's about actually being stuck in a relationship or job that you do not desire to be in anymore, and having no power over the situation. Getting lost. Nightmares of getting lost or trying to find someone is usually a sign of anxiety, frustration, confusion, and the feeling of not being able to fit in. While anxiety can have many causes, the one that this dream is connected to is more based on your current life situation, like starting a new job, moving to a new neighborhood, or going on a date with someone for the first time. Drowning In real life, when you begin to drown, your lungs are forcefully filled with water. But in the dream realm, drowning is meant to represent you being overwhelmed by emotions or oppressed issues from your past that may be coming back to haunt you. Being attacked. The most common nightmare of them all, being attacked, or that be a killer, animal, or some maniac wielding a gun. These dreams are so common because they're based on the difficulty in confronting something in your daily life. Usually in these situations we run or hide, just like how sometimes we feel like we should run from these type of situations. Suffering pain. Any dream where you mainly suffer any amount of pain, whether that be a small scratch, bruise, or even something greater, are meant to show your feeling of powerlessness. However, there are different variations of dreams based on injuries and outcomes. Self-inflicted injuries related to fears of damaging your own efforts or someone attempting to hurt you is related to the feeling of being cut off, ignored, or kept down. However, in that scenario, if you are able to fight back against a person attempting to harm you, or if you're able to heal the wound, then it represents a positive sign, and that you can deal with the situation at hand. Malformation Dreams of malformation is similar to dreams of suffering pain. The main difference being, is that the injury, scar, or even deformity have almost no origin. These dreams are often a sign of low self-esteem and is encouraging you to build up upon yourself, your self-esteem, and trust with yourself. Natural Disasters Nightmares of tornadoes, earthquakes, and any sort of natural disaster, very unpredictable events, are also fairly common. We sometimes imagine ourselves running away from a tornado or tsunami, but in the dream realm, it's meant to represent the feeling of anxiety and fear. Tooth Loss this one is kind of strange. With some other dreams, you can at least see the connections. Helplessly falling for something wrong uh, that is happening, uh, bugs for being bugged, etc. But what do dreams of tooth loss mean? It simply means you're going through a lot of anxiety in your life. A fear of getting older or a feeling of helplessness. This nightmare is common due to how common anxiety sometimes can be. Seeing the dead. Remembering a fallen loved one is one thing, but seeing them in your dreams is another. Dreams of seeing the dead, oddly enough, are based on our fear of the unknown. However, if the individual you see is actually someone close to you, like a past loved one, then the dream is more so about your inability to move on and let that person go. Yeah, my last name, I mean, I read it